Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. And today I wanna to talk about how I got back into retro gaming, which is gonna be an interesting story. I, I hope you will enjoy this, but I wanna go back and talk about how I got into gaming. And I think it was back in 1979 with Space Invaders. I remember playing that a lot in the arcades uh, all the way through to the early 80s. And I think it was the mid 80s when the Sega Master System came out it would have been about, I think it was 1987 when I got a Sega Master System. That's when I really got into gaming. That you know, I used to love the stuff in the arcades, but here I had something at home, which back then was like close to arcade perfect. Amazing games like Fantasy Star, uh, the Wonder Boy series, um, and I thought that that's it. I, I never need to go back to an arcade again. But um, it's just interesting for me, looking back now, over the last 35 years, how far we've come uh, from the Master System all the way through the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, now, somewhere along the way, I totally, I don't know how to say this, I, I, I started looking back at the earlier systems, like the Master System, as complete and utter rubbish. And this was around the time, probably, going into the PlayStation 3 era uh, and the Xbox 360, where I was selling off a lot of my old uh, consoles and games. I kept a couple of games on the Master System, but pretty much from the Master System, Mega Drive, uh, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, I would sell all, all those collections, even the PlayStation 2, um, to make way for the PS3, and even with the PS4, I remember I still doing that sort of thing and I really did I, I looked at the older gen consoles back then as just being so crappy with the graphics and I was just always looking forward to the next generation which was the PlayStation 4 back then and you know stuff like that was just amazing and I I did I, I looked at these older consoles and the games has just been utter rubbish and where did it all change for me where did it the spark, I guess, for me to fall back in love with retro gaming. Um, I think for me, it really did begin in uh, 2015, I think it was, when I discovered Instagram. When I first went on there, I was just posting photos of food, which a lot of people did back then. It was all about, you know, all the foodies and stuff. I did not know there was a gaming community on Instagram. And when I did, it was like, oh my God, I never knew that this was here. And I saw a lot of great posts. And I gotta say, here I am sitting at home uh, with one bookcase full of games, maybe about 400 games. And I'm pretty proud of myself thinking, oh man, I've got a massive collection. And I go on Instagram and I see collections, 2000 games, 3000 games, a whole room just full of shelves with games. And all of a sudden, I got a little pissy collection, <laughs> but um, it was great to see that sort of stuff. And especially from younger gamers as well. Uh, that really did surprise me. That these people that w weren't even born during the generation of the Master System or NES had amassed an amazing collections of those games. And through seeing these posts on Instagram and reading the comments and what the, the, the uh, people were saying about these games, kind of really uh, brought back so many memories for me of those games and the more I saw these posts of these games, these old games, the Master System, Mega Drive, um, Super Nintendo, all of a sudden I'm thinking, man, that was a great game, this was great, oh, I, why did I sell it? And, and, and that's where it all began for me. It began on Instagram seeing those posts and sure enough, the more I saw and heard about these other uh, gamers experiences of those games it really really did reignite that passion in gaming and all of a sudden all those years of looking at the um, old consoles as being crappy and shitty graphics and just never go I would never go back there I could never go back where I've gone with the PlayStation 4 and stuff like that all of a sudden that passion was back and I allowed myself to don't think about all this, all the uh, new console with all the shiny graphics. You know, 
that's where we, we, we got to, but we have to go back to the beginning where it all began, especially for me on the master system. And over the course of 2015, when I was looking at those posts, even in early 2016, that's when I thought, man, I need to get this collection back. And that's where it started for me to get back into retro gaming. It's taken me about six years to get where I am now uh, with you know the PlayStation 2 Master System. I'm trying to rebuild Japanese Mega Drive games, but it's been a slow process because of the fact that we've seen prices go up. And that's another thing that I want to bring into this is is it worth collecting retro games in the current environment? And that's a really hard question to to answer. Um, there's a lot of uh, variables to take into consideration. Yes, games are going up. Hopefully soon that will peak, then we'll see games go back down again. I think when um, Sony announced that they were going to close down, I think it was the, the Vita and the PlayStation, it was the PlayStation 3 um, network on, on the uh, PlayStation network. Uh, that we saw prices go up, but when they said they were going to keep it, prices went back down. So that anything is possible with that. But if if a person came up to me and asked me, is it right to get into collecting uh, retro games now? It's it really comes down to how much money are you willing to spend, and are you willing to play the waiting game up to five or six years like I have? It's it's a long process. It really is a long process to try and wait until you come across a bargain and that's part of the fun of recollecting uh, these retro games uh, even the consoles it's it's the thrill of the hunt and when you do find something at an unbelievable price that adrenaline rush when you do buy it, it it's just one of the best feelings you can have as far as us gamers go and that's something that i still to this day I'm looking for there's a lot of stuff out there I want to get it's just a matter of waiting and I've probably waited about the last four years to pick up the Sega Master System power base um, my dream was to get one fully boxed and I realized maybe the last 12 months that that's not going to happen at the prices that I've been seeing this sort of stuff uh, sell for on eBay in retro game stores and it was and most of it was really in a crappy condition as well so i bit the bullet and i actually picked up a master system which if you're a subscriber you know there'll be a link to a to a video on that one but it was a great feeling to to not only get the thing but knowing that i waited long enough to pick something up that was in pretty damn good condition I could have picked up something maybe a couple of years ago at the same price, but all banged up and scratched up and just looking really crappy. Uh, so it's it really does come down to your budget. How long are you willing to wait? That to me is an ongoing issue. I'm I'm willing to wait another couple of years to to rebuild my uh, Dreamcast collection. But it's just really interesting talking about this that something like instagram and the gaming community on there which is probably one of the best gaming communities out there uh just the, the passion people have for, for sharing their photos and their thoughts on gaming is, is it's pretty incredible and it wasn't for all those people that i saw post uh, pictures of their retro games their collections and talk about it it wouldn't have reignited my uh, passion for retro gaming so yeah i've got a massive thanks for all those people there's too many people to name a lot of aussies especially uh but yeah that's how i got back into retro gaming it's just incredible that i was so negative towards those graphics on the the 8-bit consoles and 16-bit consoles and just scoffed at it thinking that it was so crappy i could never go back to it and embrace it again and enjoy it and share it with other people and that's what it's all about we have to remember where we came from to where we are now in gaming and embrace every generation of consoles um yeah it's it's incredible so yeah i, I this is just me rambling on um just no script nothing just just me trying to get 
this across to everybody. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.